A few years ago, if you'd asked me about my priorities, I'd have told you it was customers and uh, the customer's production and the customer satisfaction. As time has gone on, I've realized that safety is, is more important than customers, it's more important than profits. And then without safety, customers aren't taken care of, profits don't come. Uh, that our employees have to be safe, they have to work safe, and without that, nothing else matters. Accidents are a terrible thing, and if you have an accident, it's too late. It's already happened. And so how do you prevent the accident? How do you get proactive? And our whole business is about being proactive. So we came up with the idea, and it's an industry standard practice, is to report near misses. Did something almost happen? And how did we identify that, document it, so we can do something about it? So we've asked our employees to document all the near misses that they come into contact with, or that they're aware of. Uh, and that helps us then develop the systems and the changes and the awareness to reach our zero incident uh, goals. I think some people may feel like reporting a near miss is not a good thing, that you don't want to report on something that almost happened or an accident. And because we have such a strong drive for zero incidents, just the opposite is true. We want to have every near miss reported that's, that happens. Anything that's even close to being a problem, we want to know about. It's the only way we're going to be able to eliminate uh, problems in the future and, and achieve zero incidents. To have a near miss that was more of a almost disaster uh, makes you think a little bit. I was following up on work done by an outside contractor and one of our boilers and heat exchanger and uh, when I went back there to the chemical area to check there was nobody around. Uh, the system was fully operational. We had steam flowing everywhere. And I noticed that they had left the valve open. I didn't know why, but it was filling up our sump. So it was necessary to turn it off. And when I did, the boiler system built pressure and blew the gaskets out of a heat exchanger that uh, they were still testing. But they didn't notify anybody. They had left for lunch, and the system was fully operational. So when I closed it off, it built pressure. And uh, if I hadn't been as quick as I was, I'd probably got a face full of steam. Anybody standing to either side of me would have been burnt uh, severely. It's a lot of steam, uh, 212 degrees minimum. A lot of things go through your mind, but the first thing you think about is, I could have been burned severely enough that uh, you don't see your family for a while. You don't come to work for you. Your whole life gets messed up permanently. It upset my little girl worse than it did my wife. Uh, you don't know how many times she has asked me, did I have a safe day? Or uh, did you hurt yourself today? She, she's aware of it now. She keeps an eye on what daddy does while he's at work. I did see all the things from the past. They flash before your eyes, uh, my wife included. It's just, you, you think real quick when you get that close. Uh, and then the, you, you might think the silly thing is you can see your face disfigured and, and melted away from this steam that just blows by your head. I was running a uh, pretty significant test. Well, I noticed that there was some fuel or some smoke coming off the engine. And which is normal sometimes. Uh, this was not a normal smoke, so I put my earplugs in and walked into the cell where the engine was running and noticed that we had a fuel leak. It was a small fuel leak, just a few drips, but it was landing right on the exhaust pipe. Well, I didn't want that to cause a problem or stop the test, so I figured that I'll just go tighten it up real quick. No worries. Uh, well, I tightened it the wrong way. I loosened it and a lot of fuel came out and sprayed all over the exhaust pipe and caused a big fire. The uh, fuel that came out was, it was a spray. Had I been sprayed with it and hit the exhaust pipe, I could have, I could have went up. My whole life could have been completely different. I think it was very important to talk, to report that because in my situation, I think 90% of the guys that I work with would have done the same thing I did. And had I not gone in there and done what I did, you know, who knows what would have happened to the next guy doing the same thing. So I think it's very important that we take the time to 
report these near misses just because uh, you never know what's going to happen the next time or what we can learn from it. Yeah, the more I learn about our business and the more I learn about business in general, it's all about people. If you don't have great people working together to get something accomplished, it just doesn't work. And then you put that, uh, take that to the next step and you say, well, we work in some dangerous environments. Our great people have to work safely. If they're not able to come to work or, or feel safe in the environment with their coworkers, then we cannot get our work done and we can't be productive. We can't, can't uh, make factories run better. And that's what our company's all about.